Hello, it is Tamika Anumi1109, and I'm here to do my week 14 post-op um, lap band surgery update. So I realized as I was doing um, the Valentine's Day challenge, and now I'm going to be a part of the Spring Losers um, Weight Loss Challenge, um, most of those updates need to be posted on Saturday. And so um, I sort of got away from um, doing my own personal sort of weekly updates as it relates to um, being post-op from surgery. Um, I realized that I want to get back to doing that. I like to be able to look back on um, the individual weeks as I've sort of progressed since surgery. So I will start doing that. Um, you know, I just so, and I also didn't want to inundate people with videos. Like, well, she just talked about something, and now Monday is really my um, update day. And so it was sort of too close for me. But I'll figure it out. Perhaps I'll do my weekly update midweek, like I'm doing today. So um, I'll probably do those on Wednesdays or Thursdays or something like that. So anyway, um, yesterday I went and got my second fill. Um, so I got 0.5 cc's. My first fill was 2 cc's and that was back in December. And so now I have uh, 2.5 cc's in my 10 cc's. Anyway, yesterday after I got my fill, I also talked to my uh, dietitian. While I was there, I'm like, you know, let me see if she's available. She was. And my question was, um, I started the bariatric program December 2007. So remember, it took me a whole year to get this mind together before I had, um, actually, before I was scheduled um, for surgery. So I started December 2007, met with my surgeon September 2008, um, got a go weight, went until <laughs> September 2009, um, getting my thoughts together um, before my surgery was scheduled. So with that, I thought, you know, it was only a little bit of information about lap band in the binder when I started the program. Perhaps there had been some additional information added, so I asked for that. I also wanted just um, some more input on meal plans because I don't want to get bored with just little things that I think I'm supposed to be eating. That's why I like to try different stuff because I just, I don't want to be stuck where every, you know, lunch I'm eating two pieces of deli meat and maybe a wedge of laughing cow cheese. I, I don't want to be stuck in that um, for the rest of my life, in that mode. So she was able to help me. Now, she gave me an updated uh, meal plan. One thing that was good for me that I had not thought about, um, and I'm wondering if, if anybody else is really paying much attention to, but she said to me, if you're not... Um, if you're not staying full in between meals, maybe something's going on. So she asked me, gave I gave her some, um, some. She, <laughs> oops, da, 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 da. she asked me, what are you eating for? What's a typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And I went over that with her. Now I have recently adopted this whole cereal for breakfast. I couldn't get eggs down, and I couldn't really get anything else down early in the morning. So I've started eating eating cereal. I think I talked about that. Um, and she told me, once the box is done, don't buy another one. And I was like, oops. <laughs> because you're mixing solids with liquids, therefore it's going down faster, and that's not what I want you to do. So, um, and that's my advice. I know there's some other people that eat cereal, and I guess if it works for you and works for your surgeons and dietitians, it's okay. But I've been instructed not to do the cereal um, you know, I can still put some cereal in my um, yogurt, which is because it's it's not so much a liquid like a like a milk or almond milk. So I'm going to continue to do that. The other thing that she reminded me about was fats, and she told me don't forget to include fats in my meals. And I have, you know, there's lots of times when I I just don't. Um, I just don't include it. And so uh, an example would be, and so on this little chart, there's a, a chart with a meal plan on it. And um, for each meal, it has one fat. So we're supposed to have one fat. Well, I'm supposed to have one fat in each meal. And then it has examples of what fats are. And on here, it says, um, if you can see it, Fats are important. Do not skip your fat servings at any meals. 
think I skipped that. <laughs> Um, but here's some examples, one teaspoon of um, oil, one teaspoon of butter, um, a teaspoon of uh, mayonnaise, um, reduced fat mayo, of course, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salad dressing, a tablespoon of cream cheese, um, an eighth of avocado, uh, 10 green olives, olives have a lot of fat in it, so you can count that, a slice of bacon, that was promising. <laughs> Um, two teaspoons of peanut butter or two tablespoons of regular sour cream. And so she just, you know, pretty much said that fat helps, um, helps us stay full longer. So if you find that, if you're finding that you're having an issue with staying full in between the meals, perhaps take a look at how much fat you're consuming. And I think, you know, but my mind did was okay. I have to eat better. I, you know, I don't want to eat. You know, if I'm cooking, a lot of times I'm boiling things or I'm steaming things, and I'm not using any oil at all. So um, I guess I was sort of working against that concept. So that was um, sort of the gold nugget that I walked away from yesterday from meeting with her. She also suggested a website, and it is. The world according to eggface.com, and I believe this person is um, a gastric bypass person, and she posts a lot of recipes. and I think she's like some years out, I don't know, six or seven, something like that. Um, but she's some years out, and she posts different recipes and ideas on her website. So I'm going to check that out, um, and I, I'll put the link in the um, sidebar. And she also gave me a list of bars. So for breakfast, if I want to replace, it went down. <laughs> if I want to replace my um, breakfast with a bar, making sure that I'm uh, getting a bar that has protein, um, not so many calories, um, and not so many sugars. She she also reminded me about my yogurt and the fact that it's supposed to be like under three grams of sugar, and I sort of got away from that. Um, when I started with the uh, Greek yogurts. So I need to, you know, when I'm picking up different yogurt choices, although they have more protein in them, um, I have to also check the sugar content to make sure that I'm not going too far over. Um, I know Dan and Fit and Light was something that I ate a lot right after surgery and it sort of met the requirements of my dietitian. So I'll just have to, you know, again, do that double check because I've sort of got away from looking at the sugars because I was spending so much time looking at how much protein that I can get from this, um, uh, you know, protein bar or drink or you know yogurt and stuff like that so I have to also balance it out with the sugar content so those were the things that I learned yesterday I have my feel we'll see where this takes me um, I haven't gotten on the scale so Angie Faith8412 you are helping me with the battle of the daily weighing so um, you're motivating me I haven't quite got to the point where I want to do it once a week just yet but one day I'll be with you with those Wednesday weigh-ins so um, I haven't weighed I don't think I don't even remember what it said yesterday when I went to the doctor but sometimes that throws me off because you know you're fully clothed and you know uh, all that I swear it you know it's not the truth anyway because <laughs> it never matches up with my two skills at home um, that match up so anyway mental block against that probably intentionally I don't remember what it said yesterday so that's all I have again week 14 um, lap band post-op excited about where I'm going so far oh this shirt that I have on is a size 14, 16, Lane Bryant, and my pants are a size 18, so this is a sort of a new um, non-scale victory for me, I'm getting into um, tops that are 14, 16s, um, that are not stretchy, not T type materials, it's, you know, just a shirt, I'll probably take a picture with it, um, but that's all I have, I'm enjoying everybody's videos, everybody's journey, this is so fun to be doing this with you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later, alright, bye.